Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor Nation 24 channel, I hope. Everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Pascal Ibu didn't like the way Joan Vaso smelled. Pascal Ibu wasn't compatible with golden baccalaureate Joan Vasos, but did his departure have to do with how she smelled? Keep reading to see the strange comment he made about why he knew she wasn't the one for him. Golden Baccalaureate Contestants admits he came off as snobby. Pascal Adieu was slammed by viewers as high maintenance for some of his behavior in the Bachelor Mansion. At one point, he paid another contestant $100 to do his laundry. The French native defended himself in a chat with P.O.P.L.E. magazine after the men tell all special. Pascal Adieu admitted that he's very picky and he didn't mean just about his lifestyle. He told the outlet that he has high standards that Joan Vasos didn't need. Pascal Ivy didn't like the way Joan Vasos smelled. His devil breakers. Joan Vasos truly thought she had connection with Pascal Ivy after their hometown dates. He was one of the three finalists that traveled with her to Tahiti. But Pascal didn't feel the same and chose to send himself home rather than continue on the dating show. He spilled to people the qualities he looks for in a woman, with the implication that Joan Vasos didn't meet his requirements. If they're not my type, they're not my type, no matter what they do, no matter what they say. If they're not my type, they're not my type. I need that spark. I need that sense. I need that smell. I need that touch. And that's the combination of everything. What he learned from the other men. One of the main issues between Joan and Pascal aside from her alleged scent, was his refusal to open up about his feelings. He revealed to People magazine that he intentionally kept his emotions hidden because he thought that was how to be a man. However, seeing the other men in the house be vulnerable was a huge lesson for Pascal. He explained, I felt like crying was a sign of weakness before the show. When I saw those guys crying, I said, I guess it's okay. It's okay to open up? It's okay to have feelings. And it was interesting. When it comes to love, chemistry is often described as a magical, inexplicable connection between two people. But for Pascal Abbey, a fan favorite on The Golden Bachelorette, it seems that chemistry had an unexpectedly literal meaning. Rumors have been swirling that Pascal, known for his charm and penchant for polished sophistication, had reservations about continuing his connection with Joan Vasos, not because of personality clashes or misaligned values, but because he allegedly didn't like the way she smelled. A sweet beginning. From the moment Joan Vasos stepped out of the limo in her elegant gold gown, she exuded grace and confidence, captivating not just Bachelor Nation, but also many of the men vying for her heart. Pascal was no exception. During their first one-on-one, -on -one, the two seemed to hit it off, their conversation flowing effortlessly as they discussed everything from their shared love of art to their hopes for the future. Pascal, ever the gentleman, gifted Joan a delicate bracelet he claimed he designed himself. A nod to his career as a high-end jeweler, Joan was smitten, and fans were certain their connection was one to watch. However, as the weeks progressed, subtle shifts in Pascal's demeanor began to emerge. The Whisper of an Unusual Complaint Bachelor Mansion gossip mills are legendary for churning out stories, and this season has been no exception. According to insider sources, Pascal was overheard expressing concerns about Joan to one of his closest confidants, Chalk Chapel. She's incredible, no doubt, Pascal allegedly said, swirling his glass of champagne during an off-camera moment. But there's something. I don't know off. It's her scent. Chalk, always the pragmatic one, reportedly raised an eyebrow and pressed for details. Pascal then elaborated, explaining that Joan's natural scent didn't align with what he typically found appealing. It wasn't a matter of perfume either. He clarified that it wasn't about what she chose to wear, but rather her innate fragrance. I'm a sensory guy, Pascal confessed. Smell is a big deal for me. And if it's not right, it's hard to move past it. Fans catch a whiff of drama. As soon as word of Pascal's peculiar complaint began circulating,
fans of the Golden Bachelorette took to social media to share their thoughts. Is Pascal serious? Joan is flawless, who cares about something as trivial as scent? One fan tweeted. Another chimed in. Pascal might be overthinking this. Isn't the whole point of the show to find love beyond superficial factors? Yet there were those who sympathized with Pascal's perspective, citing studies suggesting that scent plays a significant role in attraction. He can't help it if his nose knows, wrote one supporter. Joan's reaction. I was caught off guard. Joan, for her part, appeared blindsided when rumors of Pascal's olfactory objections reached her. In a candid post-show interview, she addressed the topic with her trademark poise, but couldn't hide her disbelief. I never imagined something like that would be an issue, she admitted, her voice tinged with a mix of amusement and hurt. I've always been very mindful of how I present myself. Everything from my outfit to my perfume is chosen with care. But to hear that it might be something beyond my control, that was a first for me. She went on to share that Sheen and Pascal had shared many moments where his behavior gave no indication of discomfort. If it was such a deal-breaker, why didn't he just tell me outright? I value honesty, even if it's awkward. Pascal's perspective. It's not about blame. When confronted with the rumors during a segment on After the Final Rose, Pascal didn't shy away from addressing the controversy. I want to make it clear that this wasn't about Joan doing anything wrong, he said, his polished French accent lending an air of gravitas to his words. She's a remarkable woman, intelligent, beautiful, and kind. But for me, compatibility goes beyond what we can see and hear. It's about what we feel, and yes, even what we smell. He explained that his sensitivity to scent was something he grappled with for years. It's not something I choose to focus on, it's just how I'm wired. I've learned to trust my instincts, and unfortunately, it's a factor that can't be ignored in a romantic relationship. The science of scent and attraction. Pascal's remarks reignited a broader conversation about the role of scent in relationships. Scientists have long studied the connection between human pheromones and attraction, suggesting that natural body odor can influence compatibility on a subconscious level. While it might seem superficial, Pascal's experience is rooted in biology, explained Dr. Lena Marks, a relationship psychologist, during a Good Morning America segment on the topic. Scent is tied to our immune system compatibility which is why some people are naturally drawn to certain individuals while being repelled by others. It's not something we consciously control. Moving forward, lessons learned. Despite the awkwardness surrounding the issue, both Pascal and Joan appear to be taking the experience in stride. Joan has since hinted that her journey on the Golden Bachelorette taught her valuable lessons about self-acceptance and resilience. I've always believed in embracing what makes us unique, she said during a recent appearance on The View. If someone can't appreciate the whole package, scent included, then they're probably not the right person for me. Pascal, meanwhile, has become a surprising advocate for embracing honesty in relationships, no matter how uncomfortable the conversation might be. It's not easy to admit when something as intangible as chemistry isn't there, he said during a podcast interview. But being upfront is better than leading someone on or forcing a connection that doesn't feel natural. What's next for Pascal and Joan? As Bachelor Nation continues to dissect the drama, both Pascal and Joan seem focused on new beginnings. Joan is rumored to be exploring opportunities in the wellness industry, perhaps inspired by the unexpected attention on her natural scent. Pascal, ever the entrepreneur, has teased plans to launch a luxury line of unisex fragrances. Proof that even a scandal can have a silver lining. I've always believed in turning challenges into opportunities, he quipped during a teaser for his upcoming project. Who knows? Maybe my nose will lead me to my next great adventure. Whether Pascal and Joan find love elsewhere remains to be seen. But one thing is certain. Their story has added yet another unforgettable chapter to the Golden Bachelorette legacy.